Hi, future me. I completely forgot to mention this in a video because I don't know, because I just didn't think of it. If you see my video regarding that I won't be using glitter anymore, you are pretty much aware of the fact that I have a scar in my left eye. I had my doctor's checkup and it's all okay, I'd say. The scar, obviously, as I told you, will never go away, but it also didn't get worse. I told you that I wanted to wait the month before I use actual eye makeup again, you know, doing eyeliner and mascara. Now that I know for a fact that for now everything is fine and I only have to go back in a year, uh, that is why I have eye makeup on again. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know because I completely forgot to mention that. So yeah, let's uh, get to back to the video. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very well, that you're surviving the summer, the heat of the summer. Unless you're from Australia, then it's probably very cozy and comfortable right now. Today I'm bringing you this tutorial. I saw the other day a story from Selena Gomez, or was it from their Rare Beauty account? I don't remember. But she was um, talking about the new products that they have launched and she had the most beautiful makeup. I'll put it up here. I had to take my screenshots because I loved this look so beautiful looking at it it gave me immediate girls night out or like summer night out vibes it reminds me of something that you would want to wear um, on a date at night during the summer when it's really warm and the air is still super nice and warm in the evening so I try to recreate it on me obviously I have different features than her and I don't have the exact products that she has on, but I'm very satisfied with how I recreated it for myself. So let's get right into it. Okay, so to start with my base, I'm going to be using just a tinted moisturizer because I find that it's just the easiest, most comfortable in the summertime. Also in the winter, since it doesn't really dry out your skin. So I feel like a tinted moisturizer is always such a good option. But obviously you can go for more coverage if you wish. Since I still have some spots that I want to cover, I'm going to be using a concealer and this is like the best thing that you can do if you want to keep your base very breathable is to just even it out with a very thin layer or only apply where you really need it, like in terms of foundation or BB cream and then really spot conceal. It's a much better option than having layers and layers. It's going to slip and slide during the hot days. So I would always recommend to keep it as thin as possible and then try to use something with more coverage. The outcome and the feel of it on the skin is going to be the best and the most comfortable. After that, make sure that you set everything. Even if you have a more dry to combination skin, I feel like it's always a good idea to set the most oily areas. Since Selena looked super bronzy and so summery, sun-kissed in this photo or like in this short video, I'm obviously going to go in with bronzer and I'm going to be generous, I guess. Not too much because if I overdo it, it's probably not going to match my body anymore, but I'll try to achieve as much of a golden glow without it looking crazy. For this look, I feel like the best bronzer type of color that you can go for is something more cacao colored, more brown as to yellow. So something more red toned, I feel, will look the best. It just mimics that actual sun-kissed look, I feel. So something a little bit less yellow, I feel like would be so flattering.
For the blush, since the entire look had kind of like a neutral feel to it, I'm going to be using a blush into that category and I thought that the best thing I could do is use my Rare Beauty blush since it is from Selena and it's kind of like that color family so I'm putting some on the back of my hand and go from there with my finger so it doesn't get too crazy. So insane how pigmented these blushes are. For my highlighter, I'm going to be using this one from e.l.f. It's the Jolly Pop highlighter. It just gives you that wet skin, like very glass skin effect. It doesn't dry down, which is kind of in a way the reason why it looks so glass skin like and just so dewy and so juicy supple. It's just so nice for the summertime with all those like warm cheek looks. This is just so stunning. Her eye makeup look is so beautiful. I love it so much. I feel like first I'm going to create like just a very subtle base. So I'm taking my Honest Beauty palette and I'm taking the light vanilla shade like super lightly just to even everything out. Going in with this brown shade, it is the color Soft Bronze and I'm going to be applying that into my crease. This is our transition color, so this can go a little bit further out. Next, I'm taking a smaller brush. I'm going to be taking the color Burnt Mocha, which is this dark brown color. She has like a very rich dark brown shade in her crease and then just like a very rose gold kind of lid. So I'm going to be deepening my eye makeup with this brown color. Even if you don't initially blend everything out with this brush, it's helpful for placement and then you can go back with your fluffy brush and blend any harsh edges. Whatever is left on the brush, I'm going to run it very lightly on my lower lash line. She does have a pretty intense lower lash line, like it is very smoky, but I don't like that on my eye shape. That is why I'm doing it very lightly, but if you enjoy that look, go for it. For my eyelids now, I'm going to be using a new product. This is the Catrice Aloe Vera eyeshadow stick. I bought it yesterday and I actually bought it because I was planning on doing this look and it just looked similar to the new products that Rare Beauty just launched which is an eyeshadow stick, an eyeliner, like a pencil eyeliner or like retractable as well as was it a brow pencil? I feel like it was a brow pencil but their eye stick is pretty expensive. I feel like it is 26 maybe 25 and it comes with you know as much product as this one from Catrice that was four dollars like I cannot speak for the formula of course this one is in the shade hold on it was in the cap 020 touch of rose they have four shades which is just not enough I guess I have not tried it on my eyes yet I swatched it on my hand let it dry a little bit and it stayed put so I'm excited to see Now this is super creamy that a little bit actually broke off onto my lid and I couldn't really blend it anymore so I feel like you have to be very delicate with it. I wish it had more shimmer, more oomph to it. It looks nice, but I was expecting a little bit more, but so far so good I guess. It looks pretty, I like it. Now for my inner corners, I also want to highlight a little bit because my inner is just feel a little blink and I don't like that. I'm going to be taking iced cotton. I applied a little bit of that same shade on my lid. It doesn't really have as much shimmer as the stick shadow, but I wanted to lighten um, my eyelid a little bit. The eyeliner is not really too winked or too sharp, so I'm going to be just lining my lash line very lightly. Set that with the same dark brown color that we used previously. I'm 
I'm going to add some mascara to finish the eye. Since we are on the terms of mascara, yesterday the most annoying thing happened, but in the end it's not that big of a deal. I bought a mascara from Essence that I was really excited about. It is the Sensitive But Wow Volume Mascara. And I wanted to try this because of my scar. I wanted something that is maybe not as harsh on the eye. And I have to rant about this that I don't understand why some drugstore brands just don't have a safety seal or like hygiene seal because you can open these up and I feel like drugstores in Germany are sometimes a bit different from other countries like in Portugal if I want to buy makeup most of the makeup comes either like in a package, even like Maybelline stuff here is not packaged the same way that it is in Portugal. So it's so different. I feel like it depends on the country. And I just really don't understand because Essence lipsticks, this sticker on the lipsticks covers the lid and the product so you can see if someone opened the lipstick. And with the mascaras, it's not this way. And also not with the eyeliners, you can just open them up at the drugstore and there's, I guess, stupid people out there who do that never old mascaras and i just didn't think anything of it look what it looks like like when i saw this i had a little mental breakdown because i was so excited to try it and it just made me furious because i don't understand why a brand would have safety seals or like the sticker to protect a lipstick but with liquids like this Oh, I was so so sad about this and I mean it could look like this because someone opened it and it started to leak But I will not use this obviously especially with the scar situation I'm not going to be you know potentially making my eyes worse in other forms at first I didn't want to talk about it because I feel like I just don't want to spread negativity, but I feel like it is a general issue like why are there no hygiene seals? Even if it wasn't this dirty, if it, if it was clean, you would still not be able to know if someone took it out, applied it, put it back in. But at the same time, like this brush, it just looks like it would have clumped my lashes together. So in the end, I'm not that mad that I can't use it. But if any brand is watching, please, please make sure you have seals on your products because it's just frustrating as a consumer to buy things and then you have to throw them away. It's very wasteful, but I'm not going to be using this mascara on my eyes, obviously. Also, I have not told you about this, but I'm going on vacation, or did I say that I'm going on vacation? Even if I mentioned that I'm going on vacation, I have not told you where, and I'm also still not going to tell you where, but I'm really excited, oh my god. I am, um, mm, it's going to be so good. I'm obviously going to bring you guys along. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be everything. So stay tuned for that. Okay, we can finally finish with the lips. I'm going to line them very lightly with a nudish, brownish lip liner. Oh my god, let me tell you just a little quick funny story. The other day I applied lip liner, applied lip gloss, and me and my boyfriend, we went out for a little walk and he dead ass looked me in the eye and he was like, you have chocolate around your lips. And I was like, no, I don't. I didn't eat any chocolate. He was like, yeah, but you have like a brown line around your mouth. And I was like, <sighs> he just roasted my lip liner. And I was like, that is a lip liner. And he was like, yeah, kind of looks like chocolate. Sorry that I have thin lips and when I line my lips, it just doesn't look as nice and juicy like on people with luscious, thick lips. But the fact that he thought it was chocolate, I, I could not, I could not with that man in that moment. I was just like, 
don't talk to me anymore. I was feeling myself, like I was feeling my lips. I thought it looked so nice. And then he comes and tells me I have chocolate around my lips. Like I could not. Now for lipstick, uh, her lips were really like a neutral nude. So I'm going to go with my favorite neutral nude lipstick. It is from Essence. It's dehydrating nude lipstick in the shade Heavenly. It's really a neutral beige brown color, nice and creamy. It's so so comfortable i hope it's still available because essence likes to just throw things out bring new in so i hope it's still in their collection and that you guys completes this selena gomez inspired night out makeup look i really hope that you give this look a try or that it inspire you to venture out if you are someone like me who likes generally more natural makeup i would still consider this to be natural it's just a little bit darker than my usual everyday makeup look if you guys enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up it would make my day and i really hope to see you in my next video and until then please take care and i'll see you very very soon bye bye